The USS Herschel Woody Williams is a Lewis B. Polar Class Expeditionary Sea Base currently in service with the United States Navy. She is also a sub-variant of the Montford Point Class Expeditionary Transfer Dock. The ship was named in honor of Herschel W. Woody Williams in an announcement by former Secretary of the Navy Ray Mavis on January 14, 2016. Herschel Woodrow Woody Williams, born October 2, 1923, was a retired United States Marine who received the Medal of Honor for his actions in the Battle of Iwo Jima during World War II. He was the last surviving recipient of the Medal of Honor from that battle. Williams passed away on June 29, 2022 at the age of 98, but the ship was commissioned during his lifetime. She was commissioned by the Navy in Norfolk, Virginia on March 7, 2020. Williams was present for the ship's commissioning ceremony. These ships are extremely versatile platforms for the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps at sea. They basically provide a floating base that could sail anywhere in the world. Aside from the helicopters and tilt rotors that operate from the ships, Herschel Woody Williams was the first Navy ship other than the littoral combat ship to deploy the Northrop Grumman MQ-8 Fire Scout Rotary Wing UCAV. The $498 million contract for the then-unnamed vessel was awarded to National Steel and Shipbuilding Company, a division of General Dynamics, in December 2014. Her keel was laid on August 2, 2016. The vessel was christened on October 21, 2017 at their facility in San Diego. She was delivered to Military Seal of Command on February 22, 2018 and placed into service on the same day. She is set to be deployed in the Mediterranean Theater of Operations, where she can potentially serve both United States, African, and European commands. The ship, now forward deployed to Suda Bay, Greece, is the first U.S. Navy ship assigned to the U.S. Africa Command Area of Operations to conduct missions in the Mediterranean and in the waters around East, South, and West Africa to include the Gulf of Guinea, operating with regional partners. Its crew consists of a mix of U.S. Navy sailors and military Sealift Command civilian mariners. Thanks for watching. This is Roadblock with the Defense Channel, and we'll catch you guys next time. See ya.